Tony Fonseca side came into Saturday's game as heavy underdogs to their North American rivals to the south, but it was to be a historic night in Nashville. Freddie Adu led an early charge for the Americans as he tested Mihal Misovic with a curling effort in the 26th minute. Canada responded shortly after as Randy Edwini Bonsu launched a long-range effort which drifted wide of the target. Canada grew in strength, however, and Evan James had the next chance, but his volley sailed well high of the bar. The Americans tried to regain control, but the Canadian wave kept coming as James forced his way to the top of the box before unleashing a drive, which in the end caused little trouble for Bill Hamid in goal for the U.S. Edwin Ibonsu had the next effort for the Canadians, but his left-footed strike was hit directly at the U.S. keeper as well. The second half appeared to spell a breakthrough for the U.S. as Aikopara looked to have scored, but the play was called back for offside. Canada responded well to the scare, and it was Edwin Ibonsu again on the attack, but his strike was again deflected wide. Edwin Ibonsu kept forcing the issue, however, but he was let down again by his final touch as he stormed into the U.S. area. But that's where the story changed for Canada. Daniil Henry rose the highest to power home the corner and score a shot go-ahead goal for the Canadians. But the U.S. came back fighting as Adu smashed a one-time effort, but Misovic was on the spot to batter it away at full stretch. As tensions mounted in Tennessee, Canada finished it off. Lucas Cavallini headed home to send the Canadian bench into a frenzy. There was simply no doubt in Canada's heart on the occasion. Canada 2, USA 0, your final from Nashville as Tony Fonseca's side took one giant step closer to the Olympic Games in London.